Hey guys, today I will show you how to make tic tac toe in Python. You may even call it XN zeros. For this, I will be using the TK Inter library in Python 3. So, from the starting, you will need to import the TK Inter library. So, from TK Inter import star. We also need to Put the message box that is the pop up message that appears. So from tk inter import message box. Now let's initiate a window. So root equals tk. root geometry two ninety by two fifty eight and root dot main loop. Now this will initiate the root window. Okay, so the root. Now let's see how as you can see here the window has started so let's create our nine buttons for this we will be using the button function so let's give a variable button one equals button root that is the name of the window text that will be shown in that button let's give it blank for now but not actually blank, we will be using two spaces. Now, on the button click, that is when the button is pressed, the command that will be executed is given here. So, command equals lambda. Now, we are passing a parameter to the function, so we will be using lambda. Now, the name of the function is activity. And the parameter will be passing is one for the first button. Now to place the button in the grid, button one dot grid equals row equals zero, column equals zero, iPad X equals. 40 and iPad y equals 30. Now there are total 9 buttons in the window so we will be dividing it in 3 rows and 3 columns. The first row and first column is determined by this. So here yeah, there is not an equal to sign. Okay. So no errors. Now let's copy paste it for our total 9 buttons. Now let's name the buttons. Now in the first row that is the index 0, the column will be 1, 2 and 3. So 1, Okay, the index starts from 0, so 0, 1, and 2. Similarly, for row 1, column equals 0, 1, and 2. Similarly, for row 2, that is the third row, column equals 0, 1, Now, in the activate function, change the parameters as the number of buttons. So here it will be 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now, let's define a variable player. Now, this variable player will define that whose turn it is. So, player equals one so it will start from the first one. now let's define an activate function so 
def activate the name of the parameter is box now we will be using the player variable inside this function so we need to make this variable global so global player now we need to create the logic to display when the button is pressed that is if someone presses the button x or 0 need to be displayed on it so if the box selected was 1 and player was 1 then b u t t o n button 1 dot config text equals o now the second player chance will come so player equals 2 now what this will do is it will tell the button 1 that is the this one to change this configuration the text variable to o so if i start this and click on the first button o will come here now we also need to define and store that which box was selected and what was in that box. For example, here we selected O, but the program doesn't know that it was selected, it only displays here. So we need to say that the box 1 contains O. So we need to define a set of variables. Let's name them bx1 to bx9. Now assign it a random number 1. Now in this give the numbers 1 to Now, this has actually no significance. We are just assigning a unique variable to each of this. So, in this, we will say that bx1 equals o. Now, similarly, for the x player, that is the second player, elif box equals 1 and player equals 2 then button1.config text equals x player equals 1 and bx1 equals x now before going anywhere else we define the variable here but we need to use in this function so we need to make the variables global so let's make this variables global Now we need to do the same thing for total 9 boxes. So copy this and paste it 9 times. Now leaving only the first if, change the other if to L if. Okay, so we will now change the numbers 
ox2 cotton2 px2 ox2 cotton2 px2 box3 cotton3 similarly do this for the rest of Now after you are done with this, let's play. So as you can see your total 9 buttons are appearing and if I press anywhere, the x and zeros are coming up. Now let's define the logic for the winning strategy. That is, if you play the button, I have created the first to zero but it shows nothing. So we need to create the logic for it. Now we will do this by if bx1 equals bx2 equals bx3 equals o. Now what this will do is bx1, 2 and 3 are the variables for the first three boxes that is the first row. So if the first row has o in it then a message will be displayed that message box dot underscore show the first parameter is the title and the second parameter is the content now here will now here we will create another variable player equals o So here the string will be player plus player plus wins and after the message box is shown we need to exit the program so exit 0 now let's run this now if I create the first row 0 then you can see here player o wins now we will do this for the second and third row also. Now same thing we will do for the player X. So the only thing we need to change here is replace every O with X. Now let's play this. If I create O in the first row then layer O wins. If I create X in the first row then player X wins. But we didn't give the condition for the columns so if I create here you can see here nothing happens so let's create the condition for columns so here the variables will be as follows bx1 equals bx4 equals bx7 2 5 and 8 3, 6 and 9. Similarly do this for the other condition also. 1 for 7, 2, 5, 8 and 3, 6, 9. Now another condition is the diagonal condition. So if I get say example here O, 
here and here then it should win also so let's create that condition also now there are only two diagonals so we don't need three of these conditions so let's delete the other two Now the conditions are one, five, nine, or three, five, and seven. Similarly, change here you know, also one, five, nine. Three, five, seven. Now the last thing we need to do to complete our program is we need to define the counts. Now to explain it, let's say okay. So here x wins for the diagonal condition. If I create a such a condition that draw happens like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, there is no button. I think we forgot something here. Okay, the column is. Two. Let's play again. Okay, the button is here. Okay, so let's create a condition. Zero. This one. As you can see here, there is a draw, but. Nothing is happening, so we define counts for this function. So let's define another variable, cnt, for count, and give it zero. Now we will make this variable global. Here we will write cnt equals cnt plus one. Now we need to also create a if function for that. We can simply do this by if cnt equals nine, that is total nine steps are done. Then message box dot underscore show game end. And the condition was draw, and exit zero to exit the program. Now another thing you can do to optimize here is during the first if function you can change others to else. Now this will not change anything else, but it will just make useless iterations out of the. So your project is ready to run. So let's play it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and it helped you, then give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and mention in the comments thread whether you like this video or not. What type of videos will you like to see more? And If you have any problem with this video or anything is not working, you can just tell me in the comments, and I will, as soon as possible, I will help you. It will not take more than one day, and that's my guarantee. Thank you.